How's it going, spacers? And welcome back to the Outer Worlds. In the last episode, we made our final standoff with Reed Thompson to gain ourselves a power regulator for the unreliable. Now, we are in the vast unknown, well, I guess known, regions, the hard vacuum of space. High above Edgewater, which dies below without power due to our actions. Now, it's time for us to go have a chat with our crew. Right. I think down here, where I'll meet Arvati. There she is. Hey, Parvati. Sometimes I wonder about Mr. Hawthorne. What was he like? Why'd he make the computer a talkie? You think he got lonely, lying about on his own? Wow. I think it's time you move along, Parvati. What? You want me to leave? Captain, you can't mean it. Oh, wait, what? No! Why is that my only two options? I can't just have a Thanks, Captain, for letting me stick around. I mean Oh, I can't be nice to her, I can't like have nice cool conversations with her. That kinda blows. Let's go see what Vigor Max has to say. He actively offers to talk to me, so he better. I think Hawthorne got lonely. That makes sense, right? Or maybe, maybe. I mean, I guess it still works for the lonely explanation, but maybe he's like Plankton, right? He made his computer wife. Also, I'm starting to think this isn't the first time Captain Hawthorne has died. I think he was either the second or third Captain Hawthorne, and we're just, like, continuing on. I like that idea of a captain having a specific name, then every captain of the ship kind of adopting that persona. I think that's cool. Anyways, Vicar Max! Yo, what's up, buddy? I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Dude, Something the golden ratio? Is that a motherfucker? <laughs> Why is there not this many things with Parvati, you know? Did I... I wonder if I fucked myself. Can you romance these people? I think you can. Anyways. I'd like to know something about those I'm flying with. Tell me a bit about <clears throat> yourself. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run-of-the-mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. Violent, eh? That's somewhat concerning. Oh, I eventually learned how to channel it into my quest for knowledge. But my childhood? That is a different tale. I grew up in a <sighs> town much like Edgewater. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with them. Why were you so passionate about that? My parents, ironically. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith. A faith that brought joy to them regardless of the situation. I envied that. I wanted that peace. I thought if I became a vicar, I could find it. 
Or at the very least, find out why I lacked it. So, you don't believe in your religion? But you use it as hmm 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 yeah why weren't they proud of that they thought i was fighting the plan should have accepted my lot some people pursue the clergy for power prestige but that was not me Yeah, this plan sounds like a convenient way to control the masses. It can be, if abused. But that can be said about anything. However, in the case of the board and Halcyon, sadly, I believe you are correct. Hmm. I think, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> get out of my group. Um, sweet seems kind of trusting of you. Just sign on without knowing anything. Headlong into too many walls in my All you know is I've killed your town. This book is my last hope, <laughs> and you were my only hope of getting it translated. What well, the book doesn't have the answers you're looking for? I honestly don't know what I'd do. <laughs> this quest has consumed me for the better part of my life. I fear there's nothing else left to me. What about you? What's your story? I was a colonist. Yeah, you know what? It's the truth. And how did he do that? He stole my body from the edge of the colony and thawed me out. Well, you do seem different than every other colonist. Let's pretend for the moment I believe you. What are you going to do now? Uh, yeah, I mean, that seems a dangerous proposition. Why risk your life now that it's been returned to you? Um, just because, yeah, it's the right thing to do. These people are frozen and dead. I mean, yeah, my friends and family are on there, but like, hmm, yeah. Yeah. A commendable attitude. Oh, thank you. <laughs> mm. Nope. Sorry. I think I'm just gonna do those two for now. I think the rest of the stuff might be uh, stuff I can ask him later once we've landed. So. Let's go here. Unreliable navigation terminal. So... Hmm. Dude, Earth 2? Terra 2? Um... Yeah, toggle active quest. Hold on. Oh. Journal. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Oh, Terra 2 is where I was. I want to go to the Groundbreaker. There we go. I was a bit confused. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for documents. You're free to disembark. Oh wow. I didn't take very long. Ada. Back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Um Oh yeah, so after the episode I walked into, I should have shown you guys me going into the closet, but um you know. But uh yeah, so there was a robot, um, big, like, security robot, uh, in the janitor closet. The unit is a cleaning, Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board cleaning. some oh. ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. 
Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. All right. Got a minute to talk? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. Nice. Tell me about Captain Hawthorne. I require a captain to pilot the ship. Without an identified captain or crew, I serve no purpose. That's not As what I asked. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. Oh boy. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Have there been other captains? If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. Oh. <laughs> He totally fucking put a flashlight somewhere in this computer. Let's talk about something else. Um. What's this? Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Ada, play my favorite song. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. No, that's not my favorite Evelyn song. Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. <laughs> a star walks into a black hole but doesn't seem phased. The black hole then turns to the star and says, I don't think you understand the gravity of this situation. That's enough for now. Thank you, Ada. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. I'll talk to you later. I trust you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. How do I... How do I know if you're sleeping? Um... Let's talk. Let's talk when you're free. Oh, yeah, I will. Hold on. I'm gonna talk to Vigor Max real quick, see what he's up to. So hopefully I can get better looking gear here. Ah, the vicar! Look at all of your books! How the fuck did you get all this onto my ship? Why didn't Ada fucking vapor- or she- I guess she can't. I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. Little else in this colony offers such a relaxing pastime. So, tell me what's on your mind. I excel at confessional listening. Can I say, Father, have I- Father, I have sinned? Um, any ideas where you can find, uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on the philosophists? There we go. religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. I think the universe is chaos. I guess uh, I, I'm more in line with them than you, Vicar. Um, what about the guy who speaks French? I've been thinking on that. What well, if this guy finds out he's wrong? Uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra Two some years ago. This dude's not brave enough to do something that. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. All right. Uh Yeah, wait, hold on. Only one guy can speak French. Wait, yeah, former what? You caught me. Listen, the OSI frowns on fraternization with Oh, yeah. I'd like to keep my associations with our scholar friend quiet. What? Yeah, why is only one guy? The only one I'm aware of. I suppose we could always just ask random passers-by <laughs> if they are fluent in it. 
Oops. <laughs> Points taken. The sarcasm is duly noted and will be reflected on your review. A thousand pardons, my good captain. I thought we were engaging in witty repartee. <laughs> now, as far as tracking down the star, <laughs> we should start on the groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. A great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. What? Well, yeah, what? How are you such a highly skilled hacker? Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard toss ball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. What? How and does this the help? Six months of departure manifest to track the philosophist's off-world destination. All right, I'll have to think about it. Um. All right. Remember, items in the hold may shift during takeoffs and landings. All right. How's it going, Parv? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Captain. No reason I wouldn't sure say immediately yes. That's. Did you want to talk about something else? Uh, yeah. Break time's over. All right, open. All right, let's go. All right here, so select companion, and she should should. Come with me. Last time I did this, last time I got to this point in the game, she didn't follow me outside. Okay, good. Thank Christ. And I still have a chance to get back onto the ship, should I need. Are we going to get in trouble today? Not that I want to. Just seems to happen around you, that's all. Let's go. All right. Uh, hello. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. All right. Captain. Hey, Captain. Hop in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. I'm so glad. <laughs> Let's go. What's happening here? This hat would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick. I heard you the first time. <laughs> There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. <sighs> Jackass had it coming. <laughs> Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get cute with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. It's Han Solo. I don't have time for this. Give me a drink. It's Poe Dameron. Look at him. Hey. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Yeah, you just got uh, just noticed your argument right there. I sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, it sounded like you wanted to get arrested, bud. Yeah, because I knocked my foreman out with a toss ball stick. But to be fair, I wasn't the one who started it. The guy was insulting my Rizzo's Rangers. Look, if it's a crime to defend your favorite tossball team against slander and calumny, well then lock me right up. You're not as cool as Poe Dameron. 
Yeah, that's a bit of an overreaction. You wouldn't be saying that if you'd been there. Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And that's when you resolved your differences like an yeah, adult. When I broadsided him with a toss ball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Right. Um, yeah. I like, I mean, I kind of get, I, 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 I'm kind of getting some any corporate vibes from this dude, but like, I don't know. I think sports are stupid. <laughs> and. I don't know. I guess I just won't like him. <laughs> Who cares? Uh. Got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? That's me. <laughs> Technically, the previous captain died in a horrible so accident. It's got a dark and violent history. This is just too perfect. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off. Guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. This is like a. Uh, you in a hurry? Oh, uh, not at all. Just uh, you know, gonna figure out what to do next. See you around, boss. Right, this dude's like a Han Solo wannabe. Like, literally, I think he's meant to be like a Han Solo wannabe, but he's just a fucking manlet. Uh, howdy. It's always fucking freezing in space. Yeah, you know, there's kind of the cold, hard, black void of space. Oh, uh, not too far away. Howdy. Do you mind? I'm trying to file a report. You're trying to file a... You're trying to file that guy's fucking uh, termination. If it wasn't for us, this whole damn station would shut down. That... Hello. Just arrived? Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. You look like a starfighter pilot. Banding machine discovered! Yeet! Skeet! Beat my meat. If you got a maintenance issue, take it to Chief June Lay. She's in engineering. Look at me. I'm on top of the world. Look at me. Customs and inspection, right this way. Look at him. Sedition, forgery, conspiracy, conspiracy to commit conspiracy, unlicensed medical practice, destruction of board property. Uh, a lot, a lot of, a lot of crimes. Hello. Identification, please. Fucking. Check it out, bitch. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me, me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Huh? According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. You're a rap bastard. Been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Listen. Now, hold on, this isn't the end of the world. <laughs> probably. Uh, ha yeah. I'm stuck here. <laughs> Not stuck, per se. You could always throw yourself out the airlock. Of course, then you'd find yourself with an exciting new problem. Why? Well, yeah. Why was my ship impounded, bitch? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you probably riled up the wrong petty board bureaucrat. Man named Udom Bedford. <sighs> I guess I'll yeah I guess I'll go talk you to him. Get the starch out of him. Well, 
You won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Sure thing. J Mr. Joey Wheeler's great 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 grandson. You play card games? Wanda Dorset over in Sick Bay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. <sighs> yeah, what's her shipment? A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for someone named Gladys. Fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Uh... Yeah, is there some tension between you guys? You noticed, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to miss. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they gotta depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Uh. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. <laughs> Yeah. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighters' docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about yeah, that. They probably we may do all right. So far, anyway. They might. If they have gunships, they'll use them. Yeah, yep. don't they? Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Thank yeah, thanks. Sure thing. Corporal? Be around. Nice seeing you. Let's go. Oh well. Huh? I like your blue armor. I want blue cool colors for my character. I'm not a fan of the greens with her skin tone and hair color. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first. But then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Who told you that, Graham? Asshole. Can I talk to you? Is any of the news they play here actually true? <laughs> All right. I, you were just talking about being really excited about the news. Oh, Bard. I don't know why there's already enemies here. Is that sp this is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled Oh, is it? How do I? Where am I? The board would like to I already have enemies here. What the fuck? Why do I already have enemies here? Punch. You want a punch? We've got your punch right here. <sighs> Rizzo's mock apple cider. All right. Cider. Advertisement Joan. Um, let's go this way. Hold on. Can we rent an upstairs room? <laughs> Can we rent rooms? A spacer? I don't have time for this. Oh shit! It's her. Um, let's talk to Gladys second, I think. Oh. Got it. Inside voices. 
What the fuck, dude? I served on two corporate freighters before I got stranded here. Everyone's heard my sob story, but no one's listening to them. I'm just a background radiation. It wasn't my fault the captain decided to take off early. It wasn't my fault no one checked the crew manifest. It wasn't my fault they replaced me with a full timer. I'm filthy bitless and bedless. Is there anyone concerned? I'm groundbreaker trash. That's how I live. Oh. Oh, I don't have a flashlight. You know, in a game like this, you should probably have a flashlight. Oh. I don't have the holographic shroud yet. All right, well, let's go. Put my gun away. Oop. Talk to... A holographic shroud. Lattice. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Um, excuse me. Hey there, you mind stepping back? This charming little ship's been impounded and I'm afraid I can't let you near it till it's not. I ain't felt so much as a tepid breeze in weeks. I hope Miss Chief Tennyson gets that fixed soon. Well, it doesn't smell as bad here as Edgewater's graveyard in high summer, so guess I can't complain. Whew. I'm starting to feel like a sisty roast in all this armor. Yeah, can you help me get this cleared up? I'd surely love to, but that's just not my bailiwick. You'll want to have words with our representative here from the board, Mr. Udom Bedford. His office is on the promenade. I'm off. Have yourself a pleasant day. All right. Well, hold on. I'm going to have to reload real quick and get my holographic shroud so in the meantime i feel like i'm going to end this episode here we've arrived we got some missions to do and that's all for this one like comment subscribe if you want share this video with someone you know and i will see you guys in the next episode oh of the Outer Worlds. Peace.